with uh, the regular season that is about to begin. And you will see here on the screen that we're looking at regular season win totals. You guys have some different plays. Uh, why don't we say to the base winner, why don't you go first? Give me a team that you're looking at in terms of their win total. And you say right away, I like that number for whatever it is over or under on their win total. Who would that be, Mark? Okay, I'm going to start with the Yankees. And I know you're a big Ray fan, so... I'm sorry to get off on the wrong foot, but that, that was kind of the way I had it laid out, TJ. So basically what my model does is it projects the actual wins for each team, uh, and then you, you put it together, and it will give you the division win percentage and so on and so forth. But I have the Yankees projected at 101.7 wins, and – they're currently at 91.5, so we're, that's my biggest disparity in win totals is the Yankees. I have them winning 10 more games than they're projected to win. And if you break it down uh, by the team components, if you look at the Yankees' offense, I have them 18% better than average. That means they're going to score 18% more runs uh, than a normal team on a daily basis. And they are third, only behind the Dodgers and Toronto and then if you go to uh, their, their starting and relief pitching, I have them second in relief pitching and then seventh in starting pitching. And so if you throw all that into the mixer, I have them at 101.7 wins. I think we're getting really good value with the Yankees, TJ. All right. So that and that number again at 91 and a half. And what did you say you have on your analytics? That is 10 games too low. For exactly. You? Yeah. Very that's, interesting. It, it's, a, it's a huge it's a huge play. Uh, on the Yankees, it's again, it's the uh, the highest differential in my projected win totals to the odds win totals. All right, we'll get back to a couple of your more projections in a moment. I will just share that I was at the Yankees Blue Jays game in the Grapefruit League here in Tampa. I'm based in the Tampa Bay area in Tampa. Was at their Grapefruit League game in much the same way as Nadu rolls up. I saw Giancarlo Stanton get out of that to half million dollar sports car or whatever it was. Uh, for his spring training game, making his $30 million a year, just like the big man uh, rolls up. Do you have inner hatred for the New York Yankees? I would sense you do, Jeff Nadeau, here on this, uh, or, or are the Yankees fine in your book? I don't know. No, so uh, interestingly enough, uh, most of the family that I have is, is Yankee fans. When I was a oh kid, uh, the first first game I ever went to in any sport was to the old Yankee Stadium. I saw El Duque pitch against the Twins. It was 1998, so no – I've always had a respect for the Yankees. I'm fascinated by uh, that pinstripe. I think it's sharp. When I look at this team, though, and I, look, I think I, I think base winners on to something here. Um, obviously, look, they're one of the best teams in the major leagues. I think they have the best bullpen in the major leagues with with Chapman and and all the guys that they have at that back end. But I think the real question mark with the Yankees, look, everything's really good lineup wise. We know they're going to hit. We know they have a great bullpen. Um, you know, th there's big boppers everywhere in this lineup, but I don't love this rotation, quite honestly. Severino is coming off uh, a season where he just didn't pitch. Uh, Montgomery, I, I, you know, was average. I don't think he was great. Uh, I don't know what you're going to get out of Tyone. The back end of that rotation is bad. Um, look, Garrett Cole's elite. I mean, he's one of the best in baseball. He's coming off a, a pretty solid year. But, look, I don't think he was as good as what they in initiated he would be and what they thought he would be. He's got to get to that Cy Young caliber level again. Um, but again, after him, there's not a lot there. Um, you know, they're going to score a lot of runs, but it's all about, as we know, Mark, uh, run prevention. So uh, for me, I, I like it. I'm not a big win total guy. And if I could just go off on a tangent real quick, yep, I think please. unless you unless you have a big bankroll, in my opinion, I think win totals are a waste of bets. I think they're stupid to tie your money up for eight months. Um, I just don't see the point in it, quite honestly. Uh, as far as talking about it, it's fun, it's great, whatever. Um, but I think unless you're playing a, a, a bigger bankroll, to tie your money up, most people don't have thousands of dollars or even hundreds of dollars to put uh, and tie up for eight, ten months. I'm much more interested in long-term futures. The only future that I actually bet as far as like a win total type of bet is actually one on the worst record, which I feel like if I'm going to look at a win total, <laughs> I'm going to just look at the worst team and say, well, maybe I can get a couple dollars more on a win total uh, – as far as that odds as opposed to betting a win total. Okay, so we'll get to that in just a second. So let's lock in the base winner here right away on the MLB Futures Show, and that is the Yankees total of wins. He likes the over on 91 and a half uh, here for that. Jeff Nadu, you were mentioning the Baltimore 
uh, win total. You, you believe they will have the worst record in baseball. That's the future you're playing out of that same division. Am I correct on that? Yeah, and quite honestly, I, I don't think it's close. I, I, I think they're the worst team by probably five or six games. I mean, and I'd be interested to hear what base winner has as far as with them here. But I, I look at Baltimore and I just say to myself, does this team get the 60 wins? I mean, they're that bad. The only mm -hmm. good thing about this team was John Means. And if you know me, I backed John Means a lot last year, particularly very early in the season. He was absolutely terrific in first fives. I mean, he was just mowing players down. And, look, he was the only good thing about the Baltimore Rave, or Baltimore, Rave, Baltimore Orioles. Uh, Mullen's a decent player. But you look at this depth chart. I mean, it is bad. I mean, th this entire roster is awful. I, I want to use different words. I I don't want to get us, you know, not monetized or something, so I'm not going to say them. But, yeah, th they're bad. Uh, when Jordan Lyles is your second starter, I you've know. got major issues. Uh, look, Jordan Lyles, um, last year, keep in mind, Jordan Lyles. And I know the analytical people are looking at FIP and that kind of stuff. But even when we just look at very rudimentary things like ERA, I mean, his ERA was over five. This is a bad pitcher. Doesn't belong as the second starter on a, a major league team. I think they're like a 58, 60 win team. I don't think it's even close. I think they're the worst team by a wide margin. And if I'm going to play a win total, why not just play plus 175? If I'm going to tie my money up, I at least want a positive return. All right. So, Mark, Jeff had a lot there. Uh, pick up on the Baltimore Orioles. Is, is this the worst team in Major League Baseball that maybe has to has to go a little bit here to be the second worst, et cetera? Do you agree with that? Or maybe you disagree, Mark? I would, I would almost wholeheartedly agree the, um, and I'm going to go over the, the lower or the last, uh, the last team in each division, just so you can get an idea how many games they are back from, from their nearest, I guess, sweller, seller dweller, if mm -hmm. you would. And so we have Baltimore 56.5 win project wins projected. And then Kansas city, <laughs> Kansas city is the AL central bottom team at 62.4 so about six games difference and I do believe Kansas City is the the next closest to Baltimore and then we take a look at the AL West Oakland is my last team projection there at 65 games and then in the NL East I have Washington projected at 66.1 games and then Pittsburgh at 64.4 in the central and then the NL West bottom team would be Arizona at 66.3. So we're looking at roughly a six-game difference between Kansas City and Baltimore. So I really do think that that play is a, is a valuable play. Yeah, as far as worst team in baseball, that's the play that Jeff I mean, I, is making. Yep. I Go think ahead. the fact that I'm getting plus 175 at BetUS is is wild. I mean, I I don't as Mark said, I don't I don't think it's even close. I mean, I I, I think it's I think it's an easy winner. Yeah, you, I mean, a six-game cushion is a huge, huge cushion, sure. and and you definitely are going to have minus money if you put that into a Monte Carlo simulation. So, yeah, it's a good play. And, by the way, the Orioles will start with at least a couple losses, if not a three-game losing streak to start the year because they're playing the Rays this weekend, starting Friday afternoon at Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg. Yep. Go Rays on this. Let's look again at the totals. And, Mark, just follow up here because there's a couple more teams real quick that you liked and why as we take a look at the official plays. Mark has a couple of more uh, win totals that we'll make reference to there over on the right side of the screen. You like under on the Tiger win totals. You like over on the Angels and the Dodgers. And the Dodgers at 98 and a half he likes them to win 99 or more games just give me a quick thought or two on why you like those win totals as we look at them over there on the right three of them are overplays uh what else stands out base winner well i think i think the main thing is it's just a difference in my projections to the win totals and detroit i've got them winning 67.6 .6 games. I mean, that's an 11. That's probably the biggest difference of any team. So if I had to make a favorite play, it would be on the Detroit under. I just, I don't, I'm not really sold on this team's offense. Uh, if you look at their, their offensive rating, they're 22nd in baseball. Uh, the starting pitching is 24th in baseball and the bullpen is 29th in baseball. So you throw all those components into the mixer and that's how you get the, the win projection. And I, I just think that that's a tremendously valuable uh, play at that particular price. And and the Angels, I don't know how much you want me to get into depth with the Angels. It's an 8.1 difference in, in my projections to the uh, to the line projection or to the to the actual odds that they have. And I mean, I think that that's a that's a really good play as well. So I would have to say my top three plays: Yankees over, 
Detroit under, Angels over. Uh, and on the Angels case, of course, Mike Trout was hurt a year ago. They have Otani, who's been phenomenal. But Trout's, you know, health is essential to any kind of a total. Are they, uh, Mark, just right back to you real quick. Are they maybe a little undervalued on that win total because of the uncertainty of, of Trout coming off the calf injury, right, that they shut him down on, if I have that injury correct? Yeah, I'm not sure what the, what the market's doing with this team, personally. I mean, I think that they're, they're stacked. They're sixth in offense projection. Uh, you know, pitching-wise, maybe, maybe they're taking a look at the pitching. I do have them middle of the road in starting pitching at 14th, but I do have their bullpen at, at fourth in baseball. So, um, I mean, just to kind of get, I guess, go, go from a component standpoint uh, with their, or from an individual standpoint, rather, uh, with their bullpen. I want to break it down maybe by, by each individual because it's like, well, how do you get these numbers based winner? And this, I won't, I won't get into detail on every team here, but just to kind of know, Hey, where do you get that number? Where do you get that they're, that they're fourth best in baseball? And, and just to show that I'm not, I mean, it's, it's very assembled correctly and based mm -hmm. on each individual in the bullpen, uh, I've got their closer Iglesias at, at a 57 uh, base winner number. That means he's going to suppress runs, uh, greater than or at, exactly at 43 percent uh, greater run suppression than the average pitcher. And then I've got to pair a 15 percent better than the average pitcher. Myers or Mayers at 13 percent better at an 87. Lupus in an 86. Bradley 97. Austin Warren's a little bit worse than average at 3 percent worse than average. Quejada I have at 13 percent better. And then the uh, long reliever, he is a little bit worse than average. Jaime Berea at 14 percent but that's kind of how that bullpen gets broken down and, and kind of thrown into the projections but I, I really like that team it's a it's a great team offensively you got Otani and Trout uh, at the top they're base winner top five guys and uh, I just think I think that the number's too low all right fair enough Jeff any reaction or thoughts on what we saw there where he liked the Tigers as an under but he liked both the Angels and the die and the Dodgers at 98 and a half wins on the bet US line and he says over they're going to get to 100 any thoughts there big man yeah I mean the most wins in Major League history is the 1906 I believe Cubs which that, that's a long time ago 1906 mm -hmm. uh we remember the Mariners what 98 around that time they had 116 look Dodgers are going to get that high but Look, when we look at the what I did with the Orioles, the worst record, I think you have to look at and say plus 275 on the best record with the L.A. Dodgers is it's a terrific price on BetUS. Um, you, know, you look at this lineup. I mean, they might score a thousand runs. I mean, it's conceivable. I mean, no team has done that in the AL since 1930. 1930 is a long time ago as well. Imagine mm -hmm. if you lived in 1930, what you've seen in your life. We talked about <laughs> that. Pretty crazy. Yes. Uh, but that that's you know a long time. Teams don't score a thousand runs. But you look at this lineup. I mean, you add Freeman. You already have uh, you know uh, Bellinger and Muncie and and Betts and, and 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 all this firepower. The rotation. Look, Clayton Kershaw is still really a great pitcher. Walker Bueller's terrific. Urias is terrific. Look, I don't need to go through and through with this team. I, I think it's conceivable to think they get to 108, 110. I, I think that's sure. Uh, I think the closest team for them would probably be Toronto. Obviously, you got the White Sox, Astros. They're all around. But, again, in this situation, I'm looking at what's the most conceivable thought for the next team or closest to them. You know, I, I think the Blue Jays are probably 95, 97, 98 wins, something like that. I have the Dodgers into the 100, so I, I'm going to go with the Dodgers and lean on that one uh, as the pl uh, best record. I, the Dodgers are, are ridiculously good. They could win 110 games. Mm, what a lineup it is. All right, fair enough.